boxes B and C are to be press fitted into hole A. And we know that an interference of at least 0.1 millimeters will hold the boxes in place during operation. What should the nominal value for dimension B be? This is the second example for the tolerance analysis video. The links to the main video and example 1 are in the description below. The difference here with respect to the previous example is that the dimensions of the parts that go inside the hole are greater than the dimension of the hole. And that's why we have interference instead of a clearance. The tolerance loop or tolerance stack-up analysis shows us one more time that the nominal value for B depends on the nominal value for the interference. Just like in the previous example, the minimum value for the interference, or clearance in that case, is equal to its nominal value minus its tolerance. And we already know that the tolerance of the gaps, or intersections in this case, is equal to the sum of the tolerances of the other dimensions. For the given minimum interference value of 0.1 millimeters, we find that the nominal value for the interference should be 7 millimeters. Substituting this value, we find that the nominal dimension B is 27 millimeters. For both clearance and interference real-world applications, we usually just don't have a minimum or maximum value. We have both. For example, the friction between boxes B and C and the hole A might be enough for the boxes to stay in place if the interference is at least 1 millimeter. But we might not be okay with having a very high value for the interference, which would make it very hard to squeeze in the boxes in the hole, damaging the components B and C, or even causing failure at stress concentrations of hole A. For all of this I just said, we usually have a range for interference and clearance values, not just a minimum or a maximum value. Let's both confirm that the answer we got is correct, and let's check for the maximum interference in this situation. The minimum interference will happen when B and C are small, and the hole is large. This confirms that our answer is correct. The maximum interference will happen when both boxes are large, and the hole is small. Deflection or displacement analyses could be carried out to find the interaction forces and therefore the stresses that go into the different parts. These types of analysis are what allows us to set a proper range for the interference or the clearance. For one more example, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.